Okay, we are back for number two, and I wanted to show you that I had grabbed a meter stick, and so this is the top of the meter stick. These are inches over here, which we're not concerned with right now, and these are the centimeters, okay? So all these centimeters start here, and I'm just gonna pull this through so you can see that this is a big, long, meter stick and look at how many centimeters there are we get all the way up to here and guess what there are 100 centimeters in a meter and remember that the conversion is what we're interested in today and every time there's one centimeter there are 10 millimeters okay because every time there's one of these there are 10 of these Okay. It takes a lot more of these little tiny ones to make up one of these because this size is 10 times greater than this one. Oh, you guys can't see that. This one here is 10 times greater than this one. Okay. So let's do a few problems. So just like last time, um, we're using our exponents to write an equation. And we're going to be looking at, first of all, are we going from a larger unit to a smaller unit? Because when we have a larger unit to a smaller unit, you can look up top to remind yourself. Larger to smaller means we multiply. And you can put the little sign out here so that you remember what to do. Because I need more of these. And so we know what to do here. We're going to take this number and we just copy it right here. Three meters. And we're trying to figure out how many millimeters that is. You might be thinking about, well, on my King Henry chart, I know that one meter has a thousand millimeters. So this seems like a pretty easy problem. And you'd be right. Because one meter is a thousand. And so three meters would be, that's right, 3,000. Oops, and you know what? I made a boo-boo here. We have to use exponents. So what would that be? 1,000 is 10 cubed for 3,000 millimeters, okay? And then let's move on, and we have another one that's meters to millimeters, so we'll skip that, but we'll come down here and do millimeters to meters. If this is smaller to larger, we need to divide because we're going to be shrinking down the size of the, the total number because it's got a larger unit. Okay, so instead of having 1,020 of these teeny tiny little measuring units, we're going to take the 1,020 and we're going to divide it. And this time I'm going to do it right the first time. This is a jump of three place value positions. Okay, so 10 cubed, three positions from the millimeters to meters. And we're going to divide, so we're shifting this whole number to uh, the lower place value positions three times. So it's going to go, the one from the thousands is going to go to the hundreds, the tens, the ones. So we end up with one, one, then the numbers in this order, zero, two, zero meters, 1.020. Zero, zero. Okay that over. So it's essentially the same idea as above except that we're changing from millimeters to meters or meters to millimeters which is a three position shift. So when it's three position shift it's got to be 10 cubed or a thousand. Uh, let's do one that's less than one. So D is 97 millimeters. 97. 97. And if it's small to large, you have to divide because we have less of the larger unit. So we're going to take the 97 and it's a three position shift. Use your King Henry chart and use 10 cubed. And our final answer is zero and 97 thousandths meters because we're shifting it to the, uh, we're shifting the, the final answer down to a smaller number because it's got a larger unit, okay? 
you can say, take this uh, decimal here. A lot of kids will say, well, what do I do with the decimal and where do I put it? And again, if you're shifting to smaller units and you're going from the nines to the, I'm sorry, from the tens place with the nine to the ones to the tenths to the hundredths is where this is going. That's shifting to lower place value positions. Okay, that's how you get that. Then seven and 28 hundredths. Okay, we, we'll use a decimal, decimal to start, but we're going from meters to millimeters. So this is large to small. We will multiply. We're gonna multiply this. It's a three position shift, 10 cubed. We have more of these, so we're gonna end up with a larger number. And if you shift this three positions from the ones and you go, Tens, hundreds, thousands, 7,280. Remember, and, and it's 7,280, don't say and, and is for the decimal. But um, remember, if you're talking about moving the decimal, a lot of kids do this, and I'll say, caution, once you get this one, two hops, it has to go another position and you have to add that zero there, otherwise you're gonna end up with a wrong answer. So 7,280 millimeters, put the comma in when you have more than four digits. Four is fine without it, but uh, we can put it in here. And let's fill in this answer here. And hopefully you guys get the big idea. I wanna turn and go to the back side. Um, this G is the same as this one, but again, you have to pay attention to the smaller units being converted to larger units, and those are on C and D and F. Okay, all right, let's turn the page and just take a look at the back side real quick. I won't have time to do the whole thing. I just kind of want to give you guys an idea of what to do. Um, here at the top, it says read each aloud as you write the equivalent measures. So here is where you're going to have the equation. Write an equation with an exponent. And it looks like we're not going to have all the same anymore. So it's meters to millimeters centimeters to meters, millimeters to meters. So not only are we changing the units around, we're having two hops or three hops, and you just have to think. So think, think, think. Um, skip the first one, go on to the second one. If you have eight and you're changing it from centimeters to meters, this is a small to large. So you're going to want to divide. And then how many hops is it? It's two, so we're not gonna have to copy this. We have to think. It's a two position shift. Keep your chart handy. Centimeters to meters is a two position shift, one, two. Okay, and then once we have this, and we know we have eight, which is a whole number here, it's gonna have to shift to a smaller position once, twice, so tenths, hundredths. 0 0.08 and our new unit is meters so you can put in your final answer 0 and 8 hundredths meters okay another one 42 millimeters and we're going from small to large kind of like this one so that's going to be division as well small units to larger units we have to divide, we're using fewer of these. So if it's millimeters to meters, use your chart. Millimeters to meters is one, two, three. It's a half of three, that means our exponential form is 10 cubed. <clears throat> and then it has to shift to smaller place value position. So if it goes from tens, it's gonna go ones, tenths, hundredths. Keep the 42 together and your new label. Okay. For this one, starts out uh, very tiny. 
That's a very small amount right here of meters. But we're going from uh, meters to millimeters. So this is a different direction, which means we're going to be multiplying. Okay, but how many spaces are we hopping over? Well, from meters to millimeters, in the same way mi millimeters to meters, it's a hop of three, so we can still use 10 cubed. And when you shift your uh, digits three places, you're gonna end up with 50 millimeters. Okay, now let's jump down to the word problems real quickly because we're about 10 minutes in and I want to uh, have this not take too long for you. So um, if you read your word problem on your own, uh, the length of the bar for a high jump competition must always be 4 and 75 hundredths meters. So you have to express this. We're not, we're not changing it to anything. It's still going to be this same height or the length of the bar. It's still going to be the same length we just need to give it a new label and we have to explain our thinking. We're gonna use an equation with an exponent. So you wanna highlight the things you have to do. So you're gonna take your four and 75 hundredths meters, okay? And we need to change it to millimeters. So we're going from larger to smaller. So the operation, multiplication. How many positions are we changing? Three. So we're gonna uh, move those digits, okay, to the larger place value positions, and it's gonna go three times, you're gonna keep it all together. So if four was in the ones place before, it will now be in the thousands. So what's our thinking? Well, first of all, I need to multiply. Multiply when changing or converting. Let's just use converting because that's our important language. And we're going from a larger to smaller unit. Okay, that's one thing that we're thinking. And we have our equation with an exponent, but we have one more thing. We need to use 10 cubed to show <clears throat> a three position shift. Okay, it's three place value positions. So that's the whole idea behind this lesson and um, you just have to kind of keep after it and uh, keep looking at what they're asking you to do. Are they asking you to change from larger to smaller or smaller to larger units? And you've got all the helpful hints on the previous side about what to do, multiply or divide. And uh, read carefully, make sure you explain, use an exponent, and use an equation. I hope this is helpful, and I'll see you guys real soon.